Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have taught your church to keep all heavenly commandments by love of you as God and love of neighbor. Grant that, practicing the works of charity after the example of blessed Saint Rock, we may be worthy to be numbered among the blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges. The children of Israel offended the Lord by serving the Baals, abandoning the Lord, the God of their fathers, 
who led them out of the land of Egypt. They followed the other gods of the various nations around them, and by their worship of these gods provoked the Lord. Because they had thus abandoned him and served Baal and the Astaroth, the anger of the Lord flared up against Israel, and he delivered them over to plunderers who despoiled them. He allowed them to fall into the power of their enemies round about, whom they were no longer able to withstand. Whatever they undertook, the Lord turned into disaster for them, as in his warning he had sworn he would do till they were in great distress. Even when the Lord raised up judges to deliver them from the power of their despoilers, they did not listen to their judges, but abandoned themselves to the worship of other gods. They were quick to stray from the way their fathers had taken and did not follow their example of obedience to the commandments of the Lord. Whenever the Lord raised up judges for them, he would be with the judge and save them from the power of their enemies. As long as the judge lived, it was thus the Lord took pity on their distressful cries of affliction under their oppressors. But when the judge died, they would relapse and do worse than their ancestors, following other gods in service and worship, relinquishing none of their evil practices or stubborn conduct. The word of, of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They did not exterminate the peoples as the Lord had commanded them, but mingled with the nations and learned their works. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They served their idols, which became a snare for them. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They became defiled by their works and wanton in their crimes. And the Lord grew angry with his people and abhorred his inheritance. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Many times did he rescue them, but they embittered him with their counsels. Yet he had regard for their affliction when he heard their cry. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A young man approached Jesus and said, Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him, Which ones? And Jesus replied, You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother, and you shall have and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, all this I have observed. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions.
my dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. An ancient Greek doctor once said that if you wish to heal someone, ask first your patient if he is willing to give up that which causes him to be sick to begin with. Kung may tao daw na nais mong gamutin o magpapagamot sa iyo no kung ikaw ay healer ikaw ay doktor no ang unang mo dapat daw na gagawin ay tanungin muna no itong tao na to kung willing ba siyang i-give up yung dahilan kung bakit siya nagkakasakit in the first place magandang umaga po sa ating mga kapatid ko kay Kristo in our gospel reading today We heard of the story of a young man approaching Jesus, asking him what he should do to gain eternal life. He was asking somehow a very profound question because he was rich. He was a young man, and in some gospel versions, he said to be rich. And Jesus looked at him with much love no? and told him, instructed him, no? do what is commanded no? for you. No? So tinanong niya, ano ho bang mga commandments na iyon? No? And he was reminded of the basic, the Decalogue, no? the Ten Commandments. No? You shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your mother and father. You shall not kill. No? Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Very, very, somehow, rudimentary and basic. However, we've observed na parang may unsettling feeling pa rin dito sa young man na ito na parang bagang hindi pa rin siya komportable, hindi pa rin siya Masaya. No? Kaya nagtanong siya uli, nagawa ko na to, ito lahat. No? What, still, what, what still do I lack? No? Ano ba ba yung kailangan kong gawin? No? Meron parang bagang insufficiency na hindi siya mapanatag sa yaman niya and at the same time being obedient to the commandments of God. And so Jesus told him, no, if you wish to really be perfect, sell what you have, give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Turns out, somehow, this commandment he cannot do because he was instructed to follow Jesus after giving up no, what he has. The young man heard this statement and went away, for he had Many, many possession. It reminds us, my dear brothers and sisters, to reflect also of the many situations in our life wherein somehow we have this feeling of unsettling unhappiness. That it appears na kahit kompleto na tayo sa buhay, kahit kompleto na tayo sa yaman, no? parang may kulang, no? parang may sakit, no? parang hindi buo. And Jesus is somehow alluding to the point na hindi natin ito na aabot dahil meron tayong napakaraming alin? attachments sa buhay. Meron tayong napakaraming inordinate na kinakuhumalingan na madalas ito rin ang dahilan kung bakit tayo nagkakasakit. Ito rin ang madalas na dahilan kung bakit hindi natin ma-achieve 
ang pagiging totoong masaya sa buhay. Today, we are celebrating the Feast of Saint Rock, no? si San Roque. And he is told to be the patron of the sick. No? He said to be a healer. No? He lived during the time when there was a lot of epidemics. No? He lived during the time where, when a lot of people are getting sick. No? And we call to him. No? We call to his intercession to intercede the divine. No? Para kung ano man yung mga mali sa atin, kung ano man yung mga sakit natin, we call on the divine power to heal us. However, it's also good to us, no, while we have this faith, while we have this um, confidence to God's power, no, we ask ourselves, ano ba yung dahilan kung bakit nagkakasakit ka? Ano ba yung unang nagiging cause kung bakit may nararamdaman ka. And I was, well, I, as I was saying to you in the first portion of our sharing today, no? when you ask God to heal you, no? when you ask God to do the miracle, no? to mend you, no? it's also good to ask ourselves, Willing ba akong i-give up yung mga bagay na nagiging dahilan ng sakit ko to begin with? For example, high blood ka. Gusto mong gumaling sa high blood mo. Pero pag kumain ka naman, putok-batok. Do you think nagagaling ka? Hindi. Diabetic ka. No? Pero gustong gusto mong kumain ng cake at uminom ng coke na parang tubig. Are you willing to give up sweets? You have this unsettling feeling of being away from God. And you want to be healed. But the thing is, What is that which that causes you to be away from God? Sin. Ang tanong ngayon, are you willing to give up your sinful life in order to mend that which something that makes you sick? This young man in the gospel appears to be, yes, he is happy, but somehow, There is unsettling unhappiness. Mayaman na siya. Religious na siya. Parang nasa kanya na ang lahat. Pero parang may kulang. And Jesus made him realize no? he has a lot of attachments. And one of which is his possessions. For some, it could be what? Lifestyle. For some, it could be what? Toxic behavior. For some, it could be what? Very negative outlook in life. You want to be healed? Saint Trap and Jesus is asking you, are you willing to give up that which makes you sick? To begin with, God's grace will only operate, my dear brothers and sisters, insofar as we are willing to what? Cooperate in that grace He has given us. Grace is built on nature. Ang pagpapagaling ng Diyos ay mapangyayari lamang kung gagawin din natin ang ating role sa kanyang milagrong gagawin sa atin. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, through the intercession of Saint Rock, we, may we be able to be healed by whatever sickness we have. 
But firstly and honestly, we should also ask ourselves to give up that which makes us sick to begin with. Amen. Jesus Christ challenges us to exchange the material riches of this world for his eternal wisdom. Our prayers as his people can help us enter his kingdom. In every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may free men and women from materialism and folly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that government leaders may not sacrifice their principles for power, success, and ambition, but commit themselves to promote human dignity and values of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and educators may challenge the young to live for things that really matter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that Christians who are rich in possessions and talents may learn to share what they are and have with those who have less. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may have the feel of the riches of, the gods, of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, grant us courage, joy, trust and integrity. Make us wise with the wisdom of Jesus who lives with you forever and ever. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these offerings of our service place on your altar in commemoration of Blessed Rock be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and grant that, released from earthly attachments, we may have our riches in you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our truth and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strengths ever anew and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustains us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Rock, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, let us always in your love, through the example of blessed rock, and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Yours we give ourselves faithfully yours until the